Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain eviction laws in New Mexico and how to recover your property in five simple steps. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. It's illegal for a landlord to change locks or physically remove a tenant themselves. So if the renter refuses to leave after violating their lease, you must seek an eviction from the court. The process for simply terminating a lease differs from that of an eviction. Lease terminations require proper notice from the landlord or tenant, and state conditions can be found on our website. Legal reasons for eviction in New Mexico. A landlord only has grounds to evict a tenant for reasons allowable in the state. The first step in the eviction process is to give the lessee one of the following notices. Non-payment of rent. If the tenant is late on rent, you can serve them a three-day notice to pay or quit. This gives them three days to pay the rent in full along with any penalties or vacate the property. Non-compliance. If your tenant violates their rental agreement, a seven day notice to comply or quit gives them seven days to either abide by the lease or vacate the property. If it's a second time violation, you have the option to terminate the lease and give the tenant seven days to move out without an option to cure. Rent grace period. In New Mexico, there is no rent grace period. Rent is due on the due date. An eviction notice can be served if the rent is only one day late. Five steps to legally evicting a tenant in New Mexico. Serve the notice to quit. Choose the form you need and download or fill it out on eforms.com. Post it on the tenant's door and also send it via certified mail with a return receipt requested via USPS. If the breach is curable, you'll need to wait a specified number of days before taking action. File eviction papers with the court. If the tenant hasn't mitigated the issue and remains on the property, you can proceed to court. You may then go to the local magistrate court to file a petition by owner for restitution and a summons. Currently, the filing fee is $77. Serve the court documents. The tenant now needs to receive the information about the case filed against them. In New Mexico, the landlord cannot serve the documents, so a process server or sheriff must serve the tenant. This must be completed at least seven days before the hearing. Attend the hearing. At the hearing, the judge will reach a ruling. If the tenant does not show up or if the judge rules in your favor, the court will issue a judgment for restitution, which orders the tenant to move out within seven days. Removing the tenant. If the tenant is ordered by the court to leave and they don't vacate, you may obtain a writ of restitution, which will allow the sheriff to remove the tenant and their possessions. Damages. Often the tenant's security deposit does not cover total losses. If damages are not awarded at the hearing, you may be able to recover past due rent and court fees through small claims court. Now you can get eviction proceedings started. Get eviction forms, court documents, and all other information you'll need at the link below for free.